we were discussing a little bit of the the what kind of a coastal structures we can see in the coastal zone right? some of the things that we could see we already experienced something like this uh, the the connections between the the con the neighboring countries like here the adams bridge the shallow areas and the bays and lagoons and uh, this kind of headlands headlands can something uh, coming into the sea uh, it's unique and very attractive places like there are many headlands like here and uh, the blowholes like in humana right some uh, the the cliffs like here in uh, trincomalee uh, in the near the kovi and the same right here and li likewise there are many coastal uh, structures these structures actually are formed due to two different processes one of the process we call erosional landforms right so some of these landforms are formed because of erosional process right? samara structure on the other hand, some of the landforms are depositional. Samara structures, right? Erosional structures versus depositional structures. So, follow me, them erosional structures and the landforms to give you uh, examples are the sea cliffs, like something like these cliffs, what you see in the Trinkamali, they are erosional. They know the Beru Belmutum are erosional process, right? Uh, and there are something called the wave cut platforms. Um, uh, it's not very prominent here, but uh, in this uh, top left, you can see something like here, some platforms, some areas, right? So all these are erosional features. The sea stacks, the caves, and sea art, like here. The, the, the natural bridge, here, but there is the arc here. And the depositional landforms are the beaches, the spit, uh, then a lagoon, then we have Tombolo. Uh, I'm pretty sure you haven't heard about this term called Tombolo. Right? But before going into these different structures, uh, this erosional, depositional, as well as there are some coastal processes. So there are some erosional processes and these erosional process cause this um, different types of erosion, right? In the coastal zone, there are few these kinds of erosional processes and one of the, one of such uh, erosional pros, process called the abrasion. Let me watch an abrasion, you know? Uh, hydraulic action here, okay. hydraulic action, the abrasion, the attrition, solution, or the corrosion. Solution, it's very something very simple. Right? Hydraulic action, hydraulic action, power erosion when the power of wave carries away in loose material hydraulic action erosional features right the second one is the the abrasion 
abrasion kira kaya ni, ada waves ek, ada villa particles. Apikum rocks ni apa bang? Hari punca ni mana? Tiada lakukan apa mana rocks ada villa, ikat ada villa, kadi lah ni. Hari rocks, right? Itu orang rocks, kuda kadi orang kadi lah ni. Apikum nama abrasion kira. Ikat wave ek sini, ikat hindah ni. Third type ek kira solution kira ikat nandan mana dia ni. Ikat सी वोट के लिए क्या नहीं हो अदर सॉल्व वांट का कुड़ा समारोह देवल दिए बने पुलों का विशेष आदि कैल्सियम का बनेटरिंग है जिला तीन स्ट्रक्चर्स तीन वाला में वाला चीज़ क्योंकि दिए बने पतंगा नो सी वोट अबल अरे तीन सा जब कुड़ा हाई ये नहीं सॉफ्ट रॉक्स वाले के देवल दिए बने पुलों में अतः तमाम में में अप्रेशन सा अट्रेशन ने के वजह से तमाम अप्रेशन ने का क्या ने वेव हिंदा में रॉक्स हरे में तंग पार्टिकल्स यह में गीला ना कैडेन ने पुलवांगे का अट्रेशन के लिए क्या ने में रॉक्स वन ना ना देखे एक रॉक्स किने के टेक गेटीला पार्टिकल्स ने पुलवांग ये वाई किने के टेक गेटीला कैडी कैडी अरे लोगों देखने हैं एट्रेशन, अब्रेशन, हाइड्रोलिक कैप्शन एंड सॉल्यूशन अरे मैं प्रोसेस आता बता माय तीन ने मैं इरोशनल एक्टिविटीज़ हैं ना तंग कहाँ देने एक हेतु इन्हें मैं कोस्टल सोंग के ना भाई गागा कुनात में देवल और इधर में ना पुलों हरे कोस्टल सोंग के तक इतना रखने में राइट ऐतो कुछ आप ही वही ठीक दान नहीं साधे ना आप ही बालों में इतना अमतरो समाहर लाटो में 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 वाटा अमतरो कंप्रेस या के नो ट्रैप पे लाती है ना ऐसे में पाशा आना बोलते हैं मैं ट्रैप पे लाती है पुलंगे या ये वाट तर कालक इससे में प्रेशर के नीचे बिला कलात रखेंगे ये वाट कैल्ले ना पुलंगे फिंसा uh the different landforms as you can see here see here uh, uh, the previously we saw a lot of erosional features but here we see most of the the structures are actually depositional so what is depositing here is the sand most of these structures that you can see is because of the sand deposit. Right? You can see here it's a spit. Coastal landforms, any of the relief features present along any coast, the result of a combination of processes, sediments, and the geology of the coast itself. The coastal environment of the world is made up of a wide variety of landforms manifested in a spectrum of sizes and shapes ranging from gently sloping beaches to high cliffs, yet coastal landforms are best considered in two broad categories, erosional and depositional. In fact, the overall nature of any coast may be described in terms of one or the other of these categories. It should be noted, however, that each of the two major landform types may occur on any given reach of coast. Landforms of Erosional Coasts There are two major types of coastal morphology, one is dominated by erosion and the other by deposition. They exhibit distinctly different landforms, though each type may contain some features of the other. Sea Cliffs The most widespread landforms of erosional coasts are sea cliffs. These very steep to vertical bedrock cliffs range from only a few meters high to hundreds of meters above sea level. Their vertical nature is the result of wave-induced erosion near sea level and the subsequent collapse of rocks at higher elevation. Cliffs that extend to the shoreline commonly have a notch cut into them where waves have battered the bedrock surface. At many coastal locations there is a thin, narrow veneer of sediment forming a beach along the base of sea cliffs. This sediment may consist of sand, but it is more commonly composed of coarse material, cobbles or boulders. Beaches of this kind usually accumulate during relatively low wave energy conditions and are removed during the stormy season when waves are larger. 
the coasts of California and Oregon contain many places where this situation prevails. The presence of even a narrow beach along a rocky coast provides the cliffs protection against direct wave attack and slows the rate of erosion. Wave Cut Platforms At the base of most cliffs along a rocky coast one finds a flat surface at about the mid-tide elevation. This is a bench-like feature called a wave cut platform, or wave cut bench. Such surfaces may measure from a few meters to hundreds of meters wide and extend to the base of the adjacent cliff. They are formed by wave action on the bedrock along the coast. The formation process can take a long time, depending on the type of rock present. The existence of extensive wave cut platforms thus implies that sea level did not fluctuate during the periods of formation. Multiple platforms of this type along a given reach of coast indicate various positions of sea level. Sea Stacks Erosion along rocky coasts occurs at various rates and is dependent both on the rock type and on the wave energy at a particular site. As a result of the above mentioned conditions, wave cut platforms may be incomplete, with erosional remnants on the horizontal wave cut surface. These remnants are called sea stacks, and they provide a spectacular type of coastal landform. Some are many meters high and form isolated pinnacles on the otherwise smooth wave cut surface. Because erosion is a continual process, these features are not permanent and will eventually be eroded, leaving no trace of their existence. Sea Arches Another spectacular type of erosional landform is the sea arch, which forms as the result of different rates of erosion typically due to the varied resistance of bedrock. These archways may have an arcuate or rectangular shape, with the opening extending below water level. The height of an arch can be up to tens of meters above sea level. It is common for sea arches to form when a rocky coast undergoes erosion and a wave cut platform develops. Continued erosion can result in the collapse of an arch, leaving an isolated sea stack on the platform. Still further erosion removes the stack, and eventually only the wave cut platform remains adjacent to the eroding coastal cliff. Landforms of Depositional Coasts the positional coasts may experience erosion at certain times and places due to such factors as storms, depletion of sediment supply, and rising sea level. The latter is a continuing problem as the mean annual temperature of the earth rises and the ice caps melt. Nevertheless, the overall, long-range tendency along these coasts is that of sediment deposition. Deltas an accumulation of sediment at the mouth of a river extending beyond the trend of the adjacent coast is called a delta. Deltas vary greatly in both size and shape, but they all require that more sediment is deposited at the river mouth and can be carried away by coastal processes. A delta also requires a shallow site for accumulation, namely, a gently sloping continental shelf. The size of a delta is typically related to the size of the river, specifically to its discharge. The shape of a delta, on the other hand, is a result of the interaction of the river with tidal and wave processes along the coast. A classification utilizing each of these three factors as end members provides a good way of considering the variation in delta morphology. Figure 1. River dominated deltas are those where both wave and tidal current energy on the coast is low and the discharge of water and sediment are little affected by them. The result is an irregularly shaped delta with numerous digitate distributaries. The Mississippi Delta is a good example of a river dominated delta. Barrier Island, Estuarine Systems Many depositional coasts display a complex of environments and landforms that typically occur together. Irregular coasts have numerous embayments, many of which are fed by streams. Such embayments are called estuaries, and they receive much sediment due to runoff from an adjacent coastal plain. Seaward of the estuaries are elongate barrier islands that generally parallel the shore. Consisting mostly of sand, they are formed primarily by waves and longshore currents. These barrier islands are typically separated from the mainland and may have lagoons, which are long, narrow, coastal bodies of water situated between the barrier and the mainland. Most barrier islands contain a well-developed beach, coastal dunes, and various environments on their landward side, including tidal flats, marshes, or washover fans. 
Such coastal barriers are typically interrupted by tidal inlets, which provide circulation between the various coastal bays and open marine environment. These inlets also are important pathways for organisms that migrate between coastal and open marine areas as well as for pleasure and commercial boat traffic. Strand Plain Coasts Some wave-dominated coasts do not contain estuaries and have no barrier island system. These coasts, however, do have beaches and dunes, and may even have coastal marshes. The term strand plain has been applied to coasts of this sort. Examples include parts of western Louisiana and eastern Texas. In most respects, they are similar in morphology to barrier islands but lack inlets. Beaches and Coastal Dunes There are several specific landforms representative of coastal environments that are common to each of the three major categories described above. Especially prominent among these are beaches and dunes. They are the primary landforms on barrier islands, strand plain coasts, and many deltas, particularly the wave-dominated variety. Beaches a consideration of the beach must also include the seaward adjacent nearshore environment because the two are intimately related. The nearshore environment extends from the outer limit of the longshore bars that are usually present to the low tide line. In areas where longshore bars are absent, it can be regarded as coincident with the surf zone. The beach extends from the low tide line to the distinct change in slope and or material landward of the unvegetated and active zone of sediment accumulation. It may consist of sand, gravel, or even mud, though sand is the most common beach material. Coastal Dunes Immediately landward of the beach are commonly found large, linear accumulations of sand known as dunes. For coverage of dunes in arid and semi-arid regions, see sand dune, they form as the wind carries sediment from the beach in a landward direction and deposits it wherever an obstruction hinders further transport. Sediment supply is the key limiting factor in dune development and is the primary reason why some coastal dunes, such as those on the West Florida Peninsula, are quite small, whereas others in such areas as the Texas coast and the Florida Panhandle have large dunes. Small wind shadow dunes, or coppice mounds, actually may form on the back shore of the beach. If sediment continues to be supplied and beach erosion does not destroy them, these small sand accumulations will become four dunes, the seawardmost line of coastal dunes. It is in this fashion that a coast progrades, or grows seaward. Many barrier island or strand plain coasts exhibit numerous, essentially parallel dune ridges testifying to this type of growth. Thank you so much for the watching the So <clears throat> almost all the, the structures will talk that we do explain. I'll just very briefly uh, explain what are those. So sea cliffs, of course, as one we would see in the uh, Trincomalee, they are very basically after eroding the, the sand, whatever the, the rocks can be seen. So these kind of things are the sea cliffs. Uh, like uh, the cliff in the Trincomalee is actually also very deep. Uh, and then uh, if any chance you go to Trincomalee, you better now go to that, uh, the, the core wheel and from there you can see this uh, beautiful um, Cliff facet overlooking the uh, Trincomalee Bay. So one of the beautiful uh, scenery to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, then the wave cut notches are not very common, but you will see they, like if you look at these uh, cliffs very carefully, you will see some of these kind of notches and including the caves like here. Uh, the cave actually, this can be later become this kind of an arch, right? And once the arch is eroded, and what is left here is the the, the sea stack, right? Once eroded here, and it become a stack or even here. And if it is severely eroded, then it becomes stump, right? Stump, uh, I forget the handle culture and stuff, like STVM stuff, right? So that's how these are uh, formed. Uh, 
So in the arch and the top, that can be a bridge, right? That's how these are formed in the wave cut platforms. So it's well explained in the videos as well. This is uh, how it would appear like few terraces or the platforms, right? Uh, not very common in some, but Ogulunta uh, Avastava Kamuna Gali Unumatu in the Nagala Patrick Yotem, the digital click speed or Evagi. Platform, but not very prominent. Right. Uh, right. <clears throat> now, all these are erosional landforms, then the other landforms are the depositional landforms, something like the, the spit, cutting monkey or giving you the spits, you know, uh, sandbars. Lagoon right? separating a sea from the lagoon, this kind of a sandbar. If it is heavily deposited and it is long term, and they can form a, a island, right? Uh, like here, if it is deposited for a long period of time and become an island, like here, right? so then become a barrier island. And they can be a, a, sometimes a city in some countries. Uh, right, so that's these are the, the depositional forms, right? Uh, now, <clears throat> how this the sand deposition happen? sand deposit sediment make a Katawa, Pisarata, Utakwe, waves, currents, can a Katakra do in Kimu. The shallow coastal waters with the inam in Miwagi, Pimuatakina, long show currents, get a minimum long show currents. May of Punchi angle hegat Rama in a coast take at any me in a long show currents. What is zigzag pattern? Like that, in May, May, no, Apas Sate, no, Apaus Sate, no, Apas Sate, no. Meaning zigzag pattern like that, in May, boy, me zigzag pattern like that, boy. Me that no, that particle like that, boy. Me that May, May, no, Apau tick like that, no, Apau ya no. Meaning, me what? Me zigzag pattern like that, gill la, boy. Me that no, that no particles tick tick like that, boy. That boy, that make make long show current so that this hour no, that my third me, right? Now you can experience this uh, if you put a, a bowl or something like if you throw it in here or even a, a slipper or something, you can see how it moves over the time. Depend on the the currents direction, the longshore currents. Because that's how the sediments move in the coast, right? Uh, just to have an idea, sand move a maybe deposit to know Samarthangal Various other things, I mean, I mean, I mean, break court, I mean, 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 Accident to me, pet the beach, the game, the beauty, the pretty provetta. Mimagi, Arhatatina, Galveticino, Mimaticino, growing kila, growing. Arietama me, Lambacoti in beach, growing stanet, the term me, road in a pangola, it's a Valapan, the Mamara, a park currenter for valley, or a long show currents on a valley team on the Vedila, or growing a Vedila. 
जंगल बीच संबंध डिपोजिटेन During the low tide, you can even walk along this, but maybe high tide it might be inundated. Uh, so that is a tombolo. Uh, there is a um, example for a tombolo here in a solitude island. Uh, if anyone from a east coast, particular to Kakuda, are you aware of that? No, no, no. उदाहरण Uh, good example from Sri Lanka, uh, Tambolo. Right. Uh, it's this is not the uh, Saliti Island. This is uh, something from another country, but this is actually what a uh, Tambolo is very main type. So it can be like a permanently open sometimes, or it can be inundated time to time. Right. Uh, Where. Well, Connecting the two islands, we got the wagi. When I take a atom bolo, right? Ah, this is another example from a Mirissa. We call those Samarla or Gila Tinik. Ah, me thena atom bolo kaki na. I buy me Samarla or me ka me ka tya tena kal. एक वेला आउट है भाई हरी सीजन में की जो तेम को लोटे में में की बहला यान को लोग में देखते हैं ना भाई अबे मतलब इतिहास अगर ना लो टाइट देखे एक ही में गिल्ला बड़ा कलाई में का हाई टाइट देखा आउट है में के बहला यान को लोग ना बड़ा कलाई जो तेम डाउट नोटिस आ सो में तीन ने में कम में लाओ कटर सम उटिटी 
roads and right um, in sri lanka there are few of this kind of uh, islands like in delph island ైలండ్స్ <laughs> 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 సిటీ but uh, it's a island um, did there's no direct con- contacts uh, within the land all right uh, <clears throat> all these are the barrier built islands like some can sometimes can be uh, island chains like this right um, and some example for the sea stacks Uh, south australia way western australia uh, for the samalata yanda avasthava kamuna then balan pulam ye wage wa tamak sulpai unu ben me ki penawa ara api ke wave cut notches ni me me ki me me ki wave cut notches peno set deposit erosional features with it and uh, the natural bridges and the arches um, all these example from australia right uh, <clears throat> so that's basically the the coastal landform but uh, around sri lanka again there are a lot of similar landforms from the the bays and lagoons to like uh, this kind of a unique habitat again if any chance we will see visiting one of these uh, unique habitat uh, for example the if you have any chance to go to the mana talaimana where you can see some of the small islands or sometimes if you get into a boat you can see this uh, the adams bridge connecting the i mean the underwater connection between sri lanka and india a uh, few islands you can see from even uh, from the land if you go to the edge it's a unique environment again that's all about the coastal and uh, landforms uh, basically we have covered uh, most of the thing related to the the ocean boundaries by now uh, actually even last week we discussed a little bit on the boundaries and the, the next what we have to do is uh, talk a little bit more on the geology 